This next problem asks us to solve this equation for z. Remember that we will disregard all values of z which will make any of the denominators zero. Now, we're supposed to multiply both sides of the equation by the least common multiple of the denominators. So for our LCM, we have z plus 1 times 2z minus 3. Now, since 2z squared minus z minus 3 is actually the product of these first two factors, this is already our LCM, or the least common multiple of the denominators, and this is what we multiply to both sides of the given equation. So, this LCM times the first fraction, you can cancel the z plus 1 out, and you'll be left with 2 times 2z minus 3. And then this LCM times the second fraction, you can cancel the 2z minus 3, and you'll have positive 3 times z plus 1. Equals the LCM times this fraction, you can cancel the whole thing, because these are the factors of 2z squared minus z minus 3, and be left with 6z plus 1. Distributing 2, you have 4z minus 6 plus distributing 3, 3z plus 3 equals 6z plus 1. This is 7z. Minus 6 plus 3 is minus 3 equals 6z plus 1. Making use of the addition property, we'll have 7z minus 6z equals 1 plus 3. 7z minus 6z is z equals 1 plus 3 which is equal to 4. This is not one of those values of z which makes uh, z plus 1 or 2z minus 3 equal to 0. So this is our solution.